was a very popular segment that dates back to the 90s and now we are bringing it back. Channel 3 is partnering with the Connecticut Police Chiefs Association to help bring fugitives to justice. And in tonight's edition of Fugitive Files, we're tackling a cold case from Weathersfield. A man accused of sexually assaulting two women, one here in Connecticut, the other down in Florida, and tonight he remains on the loose. And police now need your help to solve this case, and they are offering $50,000 for tips leading to an arrest and conviction. Tuesday, August 3rd, 2004, Weathersfield, Connecticut. It was a sunny summer day, in stark contrast to this. Highs in the 80s, the sun didn't set until after 8. It should have been a perfect day for a walk on the Heritage Way bike trail, a nine-mile path that was fairly new at the time and goes right behind Weathersfield High School. But around 5.30 p.m., police say a 62-year-old woman was sexually assaulted in broad daylight. Shortly after 6 p.m., received a call from a citizen in town saying a female had showed up on his front lawn and was saying that she had been attacked on the bike path. In her interview with police, the victim described the horrific ordeal in great detail. She said she was walking on the bike path near the high school's track when a man grabbed her from behind and told her to stop screaming or he'd kill her. He stated he had a knife, covered her face with a red sweatshirt, and pushed her into the nearby woods where he sexually assaulted her. It's devastating to hear, it's devastating to see, and it's extremely devastating to the person, the victim herself. After raping her, the attacker tied the victim's hands behind her back, instructed her to lay there, and left. Fifteen minutes later, the victim was able to free herself and run for help. She was covered in mud and a couple of other, and dirt from the bike path, grass, things like that. Thanks to a description from the victim, police were able to come up with this sketch of the suspect. A Hispanic man in his 20s or 30s, approximately 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing between 140 to 160 pounds. He had bronze skin, almond-shaped eyes, very dark thick hair, and spoke fluent English with a Spanish accent. DNA evidence was collected, a profile was obtained, but he was not a known offender. A big setback for police. It's very frustrating. We know that victims want closure and citizens want closure to it in some aspect as well. No one wants their bike path to be the scene of an, an incident as horrific as this. Police reviewed evidence, conducted interviews, and followed up on each and every tip. But the case went cold. It fell into the mold of a, a, a totally random sexual assault, which are almost impossible to solve. But then out of the blue, more than three years later, a break in the case. Tuesday, October 30th, 2007, Winter Park, Florida. Police say a man enters an 86-year-old woman's apartment through an unlocked door. He pushes her onto her bed and sexually assaults her for about 15 minutes while physically restraining her. DNA evidence is collected and it links both attacks to the same unidentified man. It heated up this cold case, but not for long. So now we had two unknown DNA profiles and no name or date of birth associated with them. Despite the ups and downs over the years, police say they will never give up on this case until they make an arrest. And they're hoping that bringing it to the forefront once again will help generate some new information and new leads. But in this kind of situation, we, we need the media because we need that exposure. We need uh, people out there to be our eyes and ears because we can't be everywhere. Someone knows something somewhere. We believe so. And with that thought in mind, police say you can help solve this nearly 16-year mystery and bring justice to the two victims. Call us. I'd rather get 99.5 of the calls to be turn out to be nothing than to miss that one half a percent of calls that is something. All right, let's take another close look at this police sketch of the man they have been trying to track down for the past 15 years. Police say he is Hispanic. At the time, he was in his 20s or 30s, so we are now looking at someone 
who is in their 30s or 40s currently. He is 5 feet 7 inches tall with dark, thick hair. And again, you could get $50,000 if you help yes. police. Uh, let's take a look. These are live pictures right now. Weathersfield Police, they are at work, ready to take your calls. If you have any information, please reach out right away. If you think you know the man, call them at 1-866-333-9372. Again, 866-333-9372. And again, that reward right now is $50,000. Yeah, no tip is too small, that is for sure. We are going to follow up on the case we just told you about to see if your tips have led police to their man. And next week, I'll be bringing you an all-new case. This one is an unsolved murder of a U.S. veteran.